Hello, welcome to another video from Up New X looking at Chinese Romland in the past week. Looking at the background change, I am in a different location again, and I'm finally officially back home in Chongqing. I'll try to stick to the weekly video. As for the weekly two videos, for the last two weeks, I've only got one out because I was traveling and there's a lot of stuff I need to do. I'll from now on try my best to do two videos a week, but if it doesn't happen, well, just blame the four years worth of piled up errands that I haven't been able to run within China. As usual, let's first talk about the dramas that have gone live or will go live soon. First one happened yesterday on the 10th. 七十吉祥, Love You Seven Times, led by Ding Yuxi and Yang Chaoyue. On the platform ICE, made by the company Hengxin in Li, which gave us last year's summer slot super popular fantasy idol period drama Cang Lan Jue, Fairy and Devil. They put out six episodes yesterday. I've watched two episode three. I haven't yet felt a strong feel for this drama up to this point, but I mean, given Cang Lan Jue, it was up to episode eight. Eight or something when I started to really, really got into the story. So I'll give it more time to burn. If it worked out well, I'll let you know. And I do hope this can be, even if not the king of the summer slot 2023 period idol drama in China, at least a good one. Next, we just heard a drama got scheduled on August the 14th on the platform Youku as well as satellite television CCTV8. That is the contemporary drama we've talked about quite a few times, Ilu Zhaoyang, Ilu Chaoyang, I don't know which pronunciation is used for the official title because both works in Chinese. And a contemporary drama led by Li Landi, Wang Yang, also featuring Wang Ju and Gao Yan. I love all four of them as actor actresses. Looking at the trailer, it's a pretty reasonable contemporary drama about people living in big metropolises, trying to make their dream come true in their work and love, but encounters all kinds of challenges as you can imagine. English title right now is All the Way to the Sun, so they've just changed it. Last week, it was called Sunrise. I'd say if it can be compared to Be Your Own Light, which I really enjoyed, then that's good enough for me. Then we have a drama, all likelihood, it's gonna go live if not on that date, which is August the 19th, then sometime around it. Tencent period idol drama, Zhuo Zhuo Feng Liu. English title, The Legend of Zhuo Hua. And that is the drama led by Feng Shaofeng and Jing Tian, a fictional setting period time girl who passed exam to become an official for the first time in that kingdom. And then there are two more dramas that have released their trailer. Haven't said when they're gonna go live, but all likelihood within August, sometime really soon. First one is also from Tencent, and that is the adventure drama we've talked about too many times, led by Nini and Bai Yu, Xichu Yumen, West Out of Yumen. They have released another trailer this week that looks like the type of trailer dramas tend to release right before it starts airing. And right now Tencent does need a contemporary drama, right? It has pair dramas going on, but it needs one summer holiday contemporary drama. So I guess it's gonna air really soon, probably sooner than we think. For adventure genre drama fans and Bayou Nini fans, you have something to look forward to. The other one that has released the trailer is a drama I haven't heard about before, but it looks like quite a lot of fun. It's an Yuku period idol drama. Looks like a low budget production. Based on the trailer, it gives you the similar vibe as the Shan. Once upon a time, there's a spirit sword mountain, if you still remember that drama. Although it's not Xianxia, it's Wuxia, and it is called Yan Shan Pai Yu Bai Hua Men, two names of two different Wuxia sect. English title is The Legend of Yan Shan and Bai Hua. By the editing of the trailer, the lines spoken, the way the camera works, it's a comedy. Comedy first, Wuxia later, that type of drama. Casting actually looks quite promising. Feng Yilun, Liu Lingzi, Ma Wenyue, Su Xiaotong. None of them is super famous, but if you have watched enough period idol dramas, you know all of them from smaller productions. Some of them, although small, made quite a big impact, or from more famous productions, but playing second lead roles. I've watched all four of them's previous works and I like them quite a lot. So let's hope this drama is gonna turn out to be an unexpected, cheap, but 
high dosage fun drama. Then we have a drama that has gotten its two air license during this week, 40 episodes contemporary drama. And this is drama that has gone through many episodes of drama. Right now its official title is Xiao Man Sheng Huo, which is like a really cozy happy title. That's so not what the drama is about because its original title was Xue Chu Fang, literally means the type of property that's in the school zone, which usually is very expensive in China, depending on how good the school is. Many years ago this drama got filmed, I still remember when they first announced this production is running and I said that in one of my weekly videos. And what happened with this production was it's led by originally Qing Hao and Zhao Wei and then Zhao Wei got cancelled in China. They have to refilm everything that has her in every shot needs to be replaced with a different actress. They picked Jiang Xin to replace her. So now the official drama leading couple is Qing Hao and Jiang Xin. To redo all that, it took a long time, a lot of extra money. Then it has to go through censorship again. And then while they are dealing with all the mess that happened, China's education policy has changed greatly since last year. Before that, China also has a lot of outside school training schools that's following the school curriculum but making it much more difficult so that the kids can get higher score. South Korean people, <laughs> if you've watched K-drama or if you're from SK, you know you have so many of that school and that's like a major thing in the education system. China has similar things, not as bad but getting worse every year. So last year, Education Bureau just came out and full on banned everything outside school. So you are not allowed to have an organization that is registered under that function to even be running. All those training teachers outside school lost their jobs and had to find their other employment. It was a huge thing. Along with that is the sort of reduced importance of Xue Chu Fang. It's still here but it's not as prevalent as before and so education went through a lot of changes. And a lot of the drama things I guess in the plot that's related to middle-aged parents having a kid who is at school literally no longer exists right now in China because that got cancelled. <laughs> it's a different way of teaching your kids outside school. So this is a very unfortunate drama. It just ran into this hiccup and then had to redo a lot of things while the reality of this particular topic the drama refers to shifted significantly. I still want to see this drama and I feel really bad for this production team doing this but that's the unfortunate, unforeseeable accidents that can happen in this world. Then we have a drama that has wrapped during this week, which is the contemporary drama led by Chen Xinxu and Zhang Ruonan called Ni Ye Yu Jin Tian, My Boss. I think I've talked about this project once before while it was filming. The guy is a successful white collar guy, but something happens to his career and he completely just, just loses it and then ended up living with this girl. <laughs> Very typical contemporary romantic drama. I just hope the story wouldn't be too ridiculous, at least watchable and not wasting Chen Xinxu's good looks in really good suits and with his tall, muscly built and looking like an overbearing CEO that everybody is like drooling over <laughs> with the leaked out photos while he was on set. Then we have two dramas that have started shooting during this week, both period dramas. Both haven't often officially announced from their official account. Opening ceremony, all that type of things, posters, but paparazzis are working very hard. So we've gotten leaked photos and know that both projects are already filming. I'll let you know which two they are and they both look quite interesting. First one is called Liu Zhouji, based on an existing IP called Jiao Cang. It is a period fictional setting story of an aristocrat lady who lost her memory and ended up with a bandit. Very typical love story. And it's led by Wang Chuyan and Zhang Wan Yi. Both of them are right now quite popular due to their dramas are either still airing or just finished airing. Ren Jian Yan Huo and Chang Xiang Si, and they've been talked a lot on internet. Not all the buzz are positive, but still, bad publicity is better than no publicity, right? We will probably see their official material in the next week or two. The other period drama we've recently mentioned has started shooting, which is Yong Ye Xing He, not having an official English title yet, from Ai Qi Yi. Period fantasy idol drama, Hei Lian Hua something Shou Te. Can't remember the web novel titles, they're long. Basically means Black Lotus Training Guide book. And it's the second collaboration between Ding Yuxi and Yu Shuxing. Previously, they were in the Ai Qi Yi contemporary drama Moonlight. 
as the writer and editor and a lot of people ship them and they do create a quite good chemistry so this time second collaboration period drama already there's leaked photos on internet and they both look really good so at least it will be a pretty drama and then if you think that their chemistry has worked before likely to work again in a period drama setting and that should conclude this weekly video from avenue x shot in Chongqing. finally thank you for watching i'll see you in my next video meanwhile live long and happy